Free piano tips at playpiano.com. Good morning. This is Dwayne, and I have a question for you. Why not learn all 12 major chords in the next few minutes so that you'll know them forever? If you don't believe it's possible, just stick with me for five or seven minutes, something like that, and you'll see that it is indeed possible to learn those chords, to know what they are. Now, that doesn't mean you'll be good at playing them necessarily, but you'll know what the chords are, and if you learn them well right now, you'll know them forever. You never have to learn them again. First of all, there's 12 different major chords because there's 12 different notes you can build a chord on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't go on to C because that's the same as that. In other words, if I build a chord on C, it's the same as that. It's just an octave higher, okay? So there's 12 different chords. Now you may think, well, how in the world am I going to remember 12 chords? Well, watch. It's easy. The C chord is every other note up from C. A root, a third, and a fifth. That's the definition of a major chord. Take the root, third, and fifth of a major scale. So it's all white, isn't it? Now go up four notes. One, two, three, four. That's the F chord, and it's all white too. Now go up five notes from C. One, two, three, four, five. That's the G chord. It's all white too. Okay? So there's three major chords that are all white, and only three more major chords that are all white. So learn those well. The C chord, the F chord, and the G chord. Now, by the way, they're the C chord whether you turn it upside down or not. That's the same chord. You see, if I, if, I, if I take the bottom note off this chord and put it on top, an octave higher, it's the same chord, it's just upside down. If I take the bottom note and put it on top again, it's the same chord, just upside down, okay? So don't let that confuse you. It's like if I picked you up and turned you upside down, you'd still be the same person, wouldn't you? You wouldn't change from Susie to Mary, right? You'd still be Susie. You'd just be Susie upside down, okay? So, the C chord is all white, the F chord is all white, and the G chord is all white, okay? So there's three chords that are all white. Now there's three chords that have a black third. That's the D chord, D, F sharp, and A, a black third. I won't get into the reason right now. You can look up other, video, other of my videos about that. But if you take the root third and fifth of the D major scale, that's what you get, the D major chord. E major chord is like that too, white, black, white. And the A major chord is white, black, white. Okay, again, D, E, and A. They have a black third, okay? Now let's review before we go on. There's three chords that are all white. C, F, and G. There's three chords that, are, that have a black third. D, E, and A. Got that? Okay, you're half done right now. If you learn that, you know six chords and you can know them for the rest of your life. Because that's, that's six of the 12 major chords right there. And by the way, if you just mastered those six chords, you go a long ways towards uh, being able to play. Okay, Because those are probably the most used, we just covered the most used chords. The next uh, set of three is D flat, and that has a black note on the bottom and the top, a black key on the bottom and top with a white key in between. D flat. Now there's three that have that shape. In other words, black, white, black. D, E flat, and A flat. Again, D flat, E flat, and A flat. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, the three chords with a black middle note, black third, are D, E, and A. Isn't there a government agency named the DEA? I think there is. Anyway, remember D, E, A are three chords that have a black third, while D flat, E flat, and A flat are three black, uh, three chords, three major chords that have a black root and fifth with a white third. Okay, let's review that much. There were three chords that are all white. What were they? C, F, and G. There's three chords that had a black third. What were they? D, E, A. 
three chords that have a black root and fifth are not D, E, and A, but D flat, E flat, and A flat. Now, you're 75% done. You've learned nine of the 12 major chords. Okay, let's go on to the last three. The last three are easy to understand because one is all black. G flat is all black. G flat, B flat, and D flat. And then there's two left over, a B chord, which is white, black, black, and a B flat chord that is black, white, white. It's kind of like the Aflac duck. White, black, 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 white, white, black, black, white, black, white, 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 black, 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 white, white, okay? So the last three chords are G flat, which is all black, the B chord, which is white, black, black, and the B flat chord is B flat, D, and F, okay? Now that's the 12 major chords. There's no more. You'll never have to learn any more. Now one explanation though, that this will, this will come up. That chord D flat, it could be called C sharp because that note can be called D flat or C sharp. But it doesn't make any difference in the sound. In other words, that's, if I call that the D flat chord, it sounds the same as if I call it the C sharp chord. The word for that is inharmonic. There's two names for the same pitch, okay? And so this chord, in addition to be E flat, could also be called D sharp, and so on, okay? So there's certain inharmonic chords, but don't let that throw you, all right? So let's review. Three chords that are all white, what are they? C, F, and G. There's three chords that have a black third, what are they? D, three chords that have a black root and fifth. D flat, E flat, A flat. And there's three chords left over. One's all black, G flat, or F sharp if you prefer. B, which is white, black, black, and B flat, which is black, white, white. Now, if you were my student, I would give you an assignment to play those over and over and over again. Back when I had a studio and I used to teach, I used to have my students play that rapidly until they could play it in uh, one gal got down to I think six seconds, but most were around 10 seconds. In other words, C, F, G, D, E, A, D flat, E flat, A flat, G, B, B flat, okay? If you'll, if you'll drill on them that way in both hands, C, F, G, D, E, A, D flat, E flat, A flat, G flat, B, B flat, or hands together, C, G, D, E, A, D flat, E flat, A flat, G flat, B, B flat. Now that'll take a while to learn to, to get your fingers on the right notes and so on, okay? But you can eventually do it. And don't forget that a chord is still a chord if you turn it upside down. That's still the C chord whether you play it that way or that way or that way. It's also the C chord no matter how you break it up. If you break it up like this, it's the C chord. That's C chord. I played just nothing but the C chord here. And nothing but the F chord here. C chord, G. You see what an advantage you have if you know your chords really, really well. And so I urge you, I can't make you because you're not sitting on the bench alongside me, but I urge you to practice those major chords repeatedly until you have them down. And then you'll, you can know them forever. Okay, that's it for today. And tomorrow we'll take up another piano tip of some sort. So if you enjoy this sort of thing, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our free series of piano tips. You're going to love it. See you there. Bye-bye for now. Hi, this is Dwayne again, and I'd like to tell you about a little book that I wrote a few years back. It's called Piano Chords and Chord Progressions, The Secret Backdoor to Exciting Piano Playing. And it's a terrific resource about chords. If you want to know more about chords, uh, you ought to latch onto this book. It's just barely over 10 bucks, 11 bucks I think it is. And uh, it covers all the chords and chord progressions that uh, I talk about in my videos. It's just a great... Uh, it's, 
it, it's not a substitute for videos, of course, but uh, or DVDs, but it's a great summary and is so uh, inexpensive that it's well worth your while to get. Here's a table of contents. You can just look down here and see all the things it covers. It starts out with major, minor, diminished, augmented, sixth, seventh, and on to 13th chords and suspensions and alterations, and then gets on to chord progressions and so on. So it's a very, a very thorough book, and uh, it's got a lot, of, a lot of illustrations. I'll just toggle through a little bit, so you can, and there's the back cover. So it's worth your while to get. So hope you take advantage of that. Thank you. Bye-bye for now. Free piano tips at playpiano.com.